Hi, my name is Taylor Tripodi, and this is Ascension Presents. So I'm the oldest of nine and I grew up Catholic and I have two parents who are married that love each other. But there are two things that I learned about marriage in general, even though I'm not married, just watching my parents from growing up. One, marriage is extremely hard no matter what. Two, faith is super important and foundational to any marriage. And now you're probably sitting there watching this video, looking at the topic and you're like, wait, I thought this was about dating. So it is about dating but I think it's really, really important to start on this foundation from the very beginning of this video that dating is for the purpose of marriage. And I think in our culture nowadays, it's very, very easy to forget that because so many people just kind of date with an idea of, oh, I'm just gonna find out what I like, I'm gonna try on this hat and see if it works for me. From a Catholic perspective, that's not the purpose of dating. The purpose of dating is to find a spouse. As Catholics, we recognize the beauty of being able to enter into yes, a dating relationship, but even more so a courtship where you are discerning the vocation of marriage. If you're not in place to be married, probably shouldn't be dating. The beauty about being Catholic is that we see the sacramentality of marriage. When two people come together in faith that are baptized, it becomes a sacrament. I did for a very short time uh, date someone who is not Catholic. And it was really interesting because at, at the very first couple weeks that we started dating, I was like, oh, this is great. There's nothing wrong. It's perfect. As I started to bring him to mass and I started to bring, uh, to, to, to pray with him, it became really clear very quickly in a very short period of time that this relationship was not going to work out. And it wasn't because he was an amazing person and didn't have a faith as a person who is just in love with Jesus in the Eucharist. When we would go to mass together, he would kind of stand there and, and not have that same understanding that, that what we were both looking at together was Jesus. When I marry somebody, I want to marry someone who looks at the Eucharist on the altar at mass and sees Jesus. When we're in a marriage that is ordered towards heaven, I think the most beautiful thing about husband is, and wife is when you can be open to life and potentially have children and bring them to mass together and to show them the beauty of the Eucharist, the beauty of Jesus. And so for me personally, just in that relationship, I eventually realized like, this is a non-negotiable. Like I want someone who is able to walk with me, be equally, equally yoked and to see this relationship as an opportunity to encounter Jesus. Um, and I think it's so beautiful in the scriptures, how we see at the beginning of Genesis, God takes man and woman and makes them in his image. And then we see the destiny of what we were created for from the beginning. At the end of the Bible, we look in Revelation and we see uh, the wedding feast of the lamb. And I love how as Catholics, when we go to mass, we see the Eucharist and, and the wedding feast that we were destined for. Like we were created to receive Jesus for the rest of eternity. The benefit of both spouses being Catholic is that you see this connection between the Eucharist and the sacrament of marriage. That there is this, this orientation of a Catholic marriage towards the Eucharist and towards that eternal wedding feast that we're hoping to participate in someday. I love this quote by, by Fulton Sheen where he talks about the marriage bed of the cross and it references to Ephesians. Marriage as being this, this image of Christ mounting the marriage bed of the cross and saying, this is my body given up for you. And, and when you're with someone who's Catholic and you, and you understand that within that sacrament of marriage, you realize the importance of of that sacrificial love that looks just like Jesus and says, this is my body given up for you. And that becomes an essential part of your marriage. Keep in mind, Catholics who are actively practicing their faith are actually, statistically speaking, 31% less likely to get divorced. So that is a pretty positive statistic. So keep that in mind when you are discerning your relationships. To answer the question, yes, you can date someone outside the faith, but what's really important to you at the end of the day? Like, you know where you're at in your life. You know what's most important to you. Um, but I would really encourage you to prayerfully discern, like, how important is the Eucharist to you? 
how important is this image of the wedding feast of the Lamb? Because if it is important, then maybe the Lord isn't calling you to marry the person that you think you might be called to marry. Um, maybe you're not supposed to be dating outside the faith. Um, so I would, I would just have you prayerfully consider those things and to remember that like, to just be open, like the Lord will provide someone for you that, that you can live the rest of this life with and be equally yoked with and, and journey towards heaven together. Invite the Lord into that discernment process and ask him those questions. Like, should I be dating this person? Should I be willing to lay down my life for this other human being? Um, and if you can honestly answer in your dating relationship, no, then I think it might be time to, to check out. But <laughs> that's my personal opinion. I want you to trust in the Lord and to know that he will provide the right person for you. Just remember to be open to his inspirations, to the inspirations of the Holy Spirit, and to really ask yourself, am I willing to commit the rest of my life to this person? Make sure you comment below with some feedback, and I would love to hear your opinions about this topic because I know that this is a really important topic and something that really just would be great to discuss. And so. Leave some comments, share with your friends, and I hope you have a wonderful day. And so from all of us at Ascension Presents, my name is Taylor. Have a good day.